It's Beth with Hly Inspired. Let's learn how to make a baby knitting machine sea turtle. You will need two colors of yarn, a 22 pin circular knitting machine, tapestry needle, safety eyes or black yarn for embroidering eyes on, polyfill or stuffing, and then you can also get a keychain if you would like to turn your animal into a key ring. Let's begin by making the shell. Cast on with your main color of yarn and work 24 rows. Once you have completed all 24 rows, cast off of your machine. Now let's put your shell together. Give your tube a good stretch. Now pull one end within itself, weaving the yarn tail through the hole. Cinch it tight and then fasten it off with a knot. Now grab a long piece of yarn and a tapestry needle. We're going to create the drawstring on the folded edge so that we can close up the shell. You're going to thread your yarn through every other stitch all the way around. Now grab a golf ball size amount of stuffing and fill your shell. Once you are satisfied with the amount of stuffing that you have in your shell, cinch your drawstrings tight and then fasten it off with a couple knots and then weave your tails in through the shell so that you can't see them any longer. To make the head, you're going to use your contrast colored yarn and cast on and work 10 rows on your machine. Once you have worked all 10 rows, cast off of your machine. For the flippers, we need to make four of those. You're going to cast on and work eight rows in your contrast color. Once you've completed your eight rows, cast off your machine. To make your flippers, you're going to start by cinching both ends so that they're somewhat closed. Then pull one end within itself and cinch it tight and then fasten it off. It should look like a circle at this point. Once you have cinched it tight and fastened it off, then we're going to sew it up to make it into a flipper. Now take your circle and fold it in half, making it a half circle. Take your yarn tail and pull it over to the corner and make a slip knot in it, and then you're going to mattress stitch the half circle closed. So to do that, you're gonna go side to side, picking up two stitches at a time from one corner all the way around to the other corner. Once you reach that other corner, pull your yarn tight so that it hides all of the working yarn that you use to mattress stitch it closed. But do not cut the yarn. You're gonna use it to sew onto the shell. Repeat this step for the other three flippers. Now let's create the head. You're gonna cinch both ends so that they're somewhat closed, then pull one end within itself, 
Fasten it off with a couple knots and then trim your yarn. Now using a new piece of yarn in your tapestry needle, create a drawstring all the way around by picking up every other stitch. Once you get to the other side, cinch it slightly, leaving enough room that you can put stuffing in it. Now grab a small amount of stuffing and place it in the head. You do need to decide at this time if you want to use safety eyes or if you want to embroider eyes on with black yarn. I chose to do safety eyes, so I do like to have my head stuffed so that I can see where the eyes are gonna be. So take your safety eyes, place them where you would like them. Once you're satisfied with where they're at, take the stuffing out and secure the safety eyes. With these small safety eyes, I do find that I have to add hot glue to the backs of them to make sure that they're not going to come back off, but that is preference and depending on what kind of safety eyes you do choose. Once you have them secured, replace the stuffing, cinch your drawstring tight, and then tie a knot in it to secure it, but do not cut the yarn. You're going to use that to sew the head onto the shell. To sew the head onto the shell, Place your head where you would like it, and then you're going to go through two stitches on the head and two stitches on the shell going back and forth all the way around in a circle, like using a mattress stitch to secure it to the shell. Make sure that every so often you do pull your yarn tight so that the head is secured really well to the shell. Once you get all the way around to where you started, Secure it with a couple knots and then you're going to weave your yarn tails in through the shell to hide them and then move on to adding your flippers. Now flip your turtle over so that you can place the flippers on the bottom side. If you need to, use a pin or stitch marker to hold your flippers where you would like them. And then you're going to mattress stitch them on. Repeat this step for the other three flippers. You are now finished making your knitting machine sea turtle. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I hope that you will come back to create other knitting machine babies with me. I have several other sea creatures coming your way. Also, if you would like to stay up to date on what's new, I will link in the description of this video all of my social media outlets. I do tend to be on Instagram more than anything, so if you would like to find the latest information about what's happening with my patterns, go to Instagram and follow me at Inspired.
Have a great day, guys.